Here is Soccer's head coach Phil Salvaggio. His team now owns the United States professional record for consecutive wins, 41 in a row. A 14-4 win tonight, Phil. Let's start with the crowd. A lot of anticipation here in the city of San Diego, a lot of promotion for this game, and a new record crowd of 4,134. Your thoughts? Oh, when we, when we came out on the field today, it was full. Uh, the energy, you can just feel it all the way around. You know what? It's been a lot of pressure. I'm glad it's off our backs, and now we can get back to winning regular soccer games. I talked to a lot of the boys today and prior to the game. They saw the, the articles in the paper. They saw the national coverage. Brian Farber was telling me he felt more nervous before this game than any of his other games as a soccer. I think we wondered how it would translate to the field, but the boys jumped right out to a 4 nothing lead. Well, you know, after last year, this this whole offseason, we took it serious. We had a great preseason. We've trained, we've never trained harder. And we're actually playing good soccer. And at times we didn't, but we, we fixed the problems right away. Craig Childs, what can you say? A, a snowman, an eight goal night, his best ever. How many? Eight goals in the game. Ah, we don't keep track. All it's about is winning. <laughs> That's absolutely right. And you've won 41 in a row. Uh, what can the Sockets as a franchise gain from this streak? Well, you know what? It just puts us on the map. You know, we, can, we always say we have the same swag as the old guys, you know, the 80s, and we do. And we keep on doing to try to prove it that we have the same swag as the 80s. Maybe the level's not the same, you know, because there was no MLS. But now it is the best indoor you could possibly see. Phil Salvaggio, congratulations. An outstanding night for this franchise. Thank you. Here he is, oh. our man of the match. This would be Craig Childs, who scored a career-high eight goals as the soccer set the U.S. Pro Sports winning streak record 41 in a row, beating the Toros 14-4. to Craig, uh, career night, buddy. How did it feel? You know, it felt good. Uh, most important thing was that the organization got the win, and I know myself and, and this team was taking this game extremely serious. We prepared for it like it was a national final or a playoff game in the middle of the season, and uh, I think it showed. We knew we wanted to put a good show on for the fans and, and, and most importantly, come away with the win. Tell the fans what the feeling was like in the locker room prior to the game, because talking to a lot of the boys, once all the national press came out today, it, it naturally raises the nervousness level. Yeah, I mean, there was a little bit of pressure on our shoulders to, to win. You know, you come this far, it would be a shame to not uh, break the record. And, you know, we kind of knew it was going to be an intense first quarter and kind of keep your head and, and stick to our game plan and it'll pan out and uh, that's what happened. You got a couple of goals early. Eddie got a couple of goals early. Uh, building that early lead, getting the crowd really rocking and rolling here at the Valley View Casino Center, how much did that help propel the team to the big win? Yeah, no, it helped a lot. Uh, it looked like a great crowd tonight. We're thrilled to be home again. And, uh, you know, it seems like the attendance is up a little bit and we're having a blast playing in front of our home fans and uh, it's, it's great to be back home. Well, let me tell you, the official attendance was 4,134. Nice. It's the first time the Sockers have broken 4,000 in the Passel. It's the new team a high uh, in this iteration of the Sockers, and, and it did feel like the energy level was just so much higher. Yeah. You were here signing autographs for a good half hour yeah. after the game. What's that interaction like? Explain it for the fans who don't know between the Sockers and their fans. Yeah, you know, we kind of treat each of our fans uh, as part of our own family, and you know, I kind of stood over there. I've been over there for half an hour, and I'll basically sign autographs for every single kid that walks into this building. And uh, you know, we figure if we can get a person in here once, they're going to return. Uh, especially once they interact with the team and kind of get to know the guys. And, you know, most of us are, are youth coaches or, or we're around young players like these kids. So it's nice to give back to the community and kind of, uh, you know, reach out and let them know that we all grew up in San Diego. We grew up playing rec club, high school, collegiate soccer here. And, you know, I was in your exact position 10, 15 years ago. And if you stick to whatever you want to do, you want to be a professional San Diego soccer? Well, guess what? I was sitting in the sands just like you were 15 years ago, and, uh, and you know, your dream can become a reality. Into the fourth quarter, you got four goals. You pick up a fifth. You had six last game. A sixth rolls in. Your career high seven. You roll in that seventh. Yeah. Beautiful pass from uh, from Farbs gets you number eight. Yeah. How much did you want number nine? I wanted nine, Matt, especially because <laughs> it's a TJ kid who has the record uh, from last year. And you know what? I got a decent chance where I toe bashed one off the crossbar. I think with a minute or two left, and I knew that was my my opportunity. And from there, we kind of kept the ball. I was being selfish a little bit, but you know, it kind of that's how the ball rolls every once in a while, and 
most important thing was that the team won and, and we're hoping to keep this ball rolling and we're definitely not going to roll over in the next couple weeks. Um, we're going to push this record. Greg Childs, man of the match, congratulations. Thank you. Brian Farber, we've been spending a lot of time together today, uh, both pre-game and now post-game after a soccer's record-setting 14-4 win over Toros de Mexico. You told me before the game, Brian, that, that you were as nervous as you've been in a soccer's uniform. It did not translate on the pitch. The team came out electric with a 6-0 halftime lead. Yeah, it was big for us. Great start. Um, the nerves were just there until the whistle, and then you're in the game and you feel much better. But the anticipation building up to it is uh, it's, it's pretty hard, you know, waiting all day for something like this. A new record crowd, 4,134. That number may be more meaningful to the franchise than 41 straight wins. Yeah, that's good for us. I mean, the crowd's finally getting behind us. Like, the guys, the crowd actually knows everybody's name. It's, uh, it's a little bit of electric atmosphere for us, and it helps us. We feed off of it. And then if we get down a goal or if we give up a goal, they help us get back into it. It's huge. The Soccers now have their name on top of a list of all the sports ever played in the history of the United States at a professional level. 41 consecutive wins. What do you think this means for the franchise? Uh, it's amazing. It would be amazing for any franchise to say that. And it's us, and uh, we're pretty proud of it. Brian, uh, on the field, Craig Childs, an eight-goal game. Uh, once he got going, it seemed like everyone was ready to feed him. I was trying to get him nine at the end, begging for it. I mean, I was like, get the ninth goal, because I think that's the record. He's yeah. tied it already once. Right, and so, he's, uh, he finished one behind you. Cesar Romero from this team last year at nine. That's right, that's right. Um, well, it's huge for him. I mean, like, when the guy's on fire, he's on fire. And uh, it took him a while, even in the beginning, he was hitting it, but the keeper was making some good saves, and then... He wears you down, he finds their openings, and he just beats you. And he scored some backdoor runs today, he scored some good finishes. It's, uh, it's huge for him, so hopefully he can keep it alive. He's got a record to break his own record from last week. Brian, congratulations, an outstanding night. And four more points for yourself, 20 points in four games, an average of five points a game so far, still leading the PASL, although uh, that man KC is coming up on yard. It's okay, he's my boy. <laughs> Great, uh, congratulations, Brian. Thank you.